to this table of sound material. So just by listening to the piece, I mapped out what's happening with each of uh, whether it's fixed media or the bass clarinet. The bass clarinet is green, fixed media is red. So you can see there's actually a progression of sound materials. It sort of slopes up from bottom to top um, with a lot of the stuff being right here in the center. So that is a way to enlighten yourself about how the structure of the piece is unfolding. All right, so a better way, um, this is like in 2007, these guys, Thorson and Hedman, made up their own way of describing the typo morphology with these little figures. So um, this is pretty close to how you get to put like one, four, five, et cetera, on pieces of music, like Western music. So for instance, the brusque onset, you can see on the key to the left, it's like a metal against a hammer sound. Right? A sharp onset is sound caused by a mallet. So if we look at it, here's a little analysis I did on this piece. Let's see if the sound actually works. Okay, startling. Sorry about that. Um, but you can see all these symbols I put on it to show what's happening. So whether the spectral brightness, this little figure with the little arm coming up that way, it's a, it's a higher spectrum. Um, this one, it's low. So it's very complex what's happening. To do an analysis like this you know, uh, helps to, to just train your ear to look for the details. It's a pretty cool way. Another way, you can do a graphic representation. So with this, I took the symbols, I lined them up with these little um, what's happening in the music. So here we go. Um, for instance, these green things are sustained sine waves. The gray circles are little pulsings. The blue is a pedal tone of the bass clarinet. Thank mm -hmm. you. 